My name is Rain Damola Ajay, and I'm ready to spark. Well, Damola, now is your time to spark. What is the shape of ammonia molecules? Trigonal pyramidal. What is the oxidation number of oxygen in Na2O2? Minus one. What group of organic compounds does this Esters. Com Humans belong to what phylum? Codata. Which microscopic organism? Virus. Well done. I first heard about InterSwitch in my SS1 and my school had preliminary exams for us to write and I was able to pass that. And for fortunately enough, when I wrote the entrance exam for Spark, I was able to make the top 81. In general, the experience was really nice but also kind of stressful because obviously everyone wants to win but you don't really know what kind of questions will come out. I remember I was really studying my own textbooks but I was fortunate enough to have my classmates there to support me and my teachers also there to support me and my parents too. I felt really happy winning especially because during the preliminary roundup of that stage I actually thought I was going to be kicked out. I was the last person to qualify from the preliminary round and the difference between me and the person that what that didn't qualify, we had gotten the same score. But because the speed and accuracy, I responded one second faster than he did. Like, I only thank God that I was able to go through the prelims and to finally win. I was just very, very happy and ecstatic about the situation. After winning Interstreet Spark, I was I, I went to, on to attend Texas A&M University where I studied chemical engineering and I recently graduated and Afterwards, I'll be going to work for Chevron in California. Well, Interstreet Spark really helped me deal with pressure. I know in such a game show, competing with 81 people, obviously there's so much pressure and anxiety, and I really learned how to manage that and be focused when it really matters. So that really helped me with like managing different tasks in school. And also the scholarship money really helped, especially during my freshman year where it was kind of hard paying for school fees, but the interest rate money was honestly really the only reason why I was able to even attend Texas A&M, so I'm really grateful. It was really nice seeing Miss Oray and me, Miss Cherry. Well, I was very happy to see them again. It's been about five or four years since I had last seen anyone from the Switch, so it was really nice interacting with them. I'm very excited to meet Mitchell today. It's been five years since I won the Spark competition and I'm so thrilled to rub mine with someone I consider a mentor. So, welcome to Lagos. Thank you. So, what has been the experience like? So far? Uh-huh. Um, well, it's only been three days, so... No, 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 no <laughs> not the Nigerian experience. Since you left Nigeria to go oh, to school. Oh, it's been very enlightening. I feel like my my perspective of, of, of the world broaden, especially meeting people from different cultures and also the big some big differences too so but it's been it's been really nice overall i saw one of your posts or so that you will be receiving a chevron oh yeah okay and i think you did say that uh, at some point in time you'd like to come back to chevron nigeria yeah <laughs> Is that just for the gram or well, hello. Like, like, like you really meant it? No, like I actually really um like Nigeria. Obviously, I I I grew up here, and it was also one of the conversations I was having in my internship where they like they have that program where people can go as like is it called expat uh -huh. to different places in the same company. So I was like, oh, since Chevron has one Nigeria, like it would be nice to at least come back for some time. Okay, no, that's good. So. Any specific questions from me? Anything you want to know? How is it like being a judge at the EY World Intervention? It looked so cool. Yeah, it was. To be honest with you, the EY experience was uh, something that, you know, I had won the. I had been a contestant myself the year before. Mm -hmm. You know, it is a real privilege to sit in a panel where you are judging people who may actually be better than you. Mm -hmm. I saw companies growing at a hundred percent 50 years after you know here my initial thinking was that as you grow older your rate of growth to slow down and 50 years we are just 20 something years 50 years will I grow at 100 percent I don't know so I came back I told my guys that percentage we are aiming for is baseline it's, it, it, that is the minimum they will tell me I don't hear anything it came for that experience do you think that everybody 
should be like an entrepreneur. So maybe before I ask a question, I should give you a sense of what I originally feel an entrepreneur is. Okay, so to me, an, an entrepreneur is someone who sees a problem in the society and he's moved to solve the problem. He has a sense for what the solution is, but it's not, I mean, it's not, it's not confirmed. Nobody has done it before. Or nobody is doing it in a way that the problem has been solved. So it begins to look for many ways to get resources, including his personal wealth. So a lot of entrepreneurs will pump their personal money into what they are trying to do. They may lose everything, but they are consumed by, I want to solve this problem family time, work-life balance suffers because, you know, when something consumes you, whether you are about Einstein in one lab somewhere, you spend a lot of your time there, everything doesn't matter. Same thing in the world of business for entrepreneurs. So they put a lot of effort in. I'm almost certain family life suffers and so on and so forth. Okay, so let's not take too much of your time. We know the other things you need to do. Not really. But... <laughs> <laughs> so you're just here to, to relax. They used to call me Mr. Uh, Mr. Spark in school. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Oida Olaje and I'm ready to spark. <laughs> well, try again. Yes, you try, you try.